And still a number of attendees filtering in to the Théâtre du Châtelet. A very well-known figure. Uh, just uh, making his way into uh, David Beckham. A former England uh, captain. Had a, a brief stint with uh, PSG. The club with whom he ended his uh, professional playing career. Of course, made his name as a uh, star with Manchester United. I moved on to Real Madrid. Beckham is second in the Ballon d'Or voting behind Rivaldo in 1999, part of that famous uh, treble winning Manchester United side. Of course, that incredible late turnaround in the Champions League final in Barcelona. And they came from a goal behind to stun Bayern Munich 2 1 right at the death. It's hard to be here, believe it's uh, 10 years on since uh, Beckham's retirement with uh, PSG. A tearful occasion that was at the uh, Parc des Princes. You can tell by the reaction of the crowd. Lionel Messi has arrived along with his wife and uh, three children. And 76. And they were inspired by the late Diego Maradona. After getting his hands on Olympic gold at the 2008 Olympics with Argentina. And Messi finally on the international prize at a senior level. As Argentina won the 2021 at Copa America. And then a little over a year later, he got the biggest prize of them all, the FIFA World Cup. After a breathtaking final. At Lucille Stadium. A 3 2 victory away to uh, Brest. 41 at goals uh, last season at Mbappe uh, for his club. And so took home the uh, gold in the boot as the world's top scorer with eight goals. Cancelo, Rude.
Ruben Diaz!
Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the 7th Ballon d'Or ceremony. My name is Martin Wood, and I'll be guiding through you tonight's ceremony. Let's join our host for this evening, Didier Jogba and Sandy Herbert. Bonsoir à toutes et à tous, bienvenue à la cérémonie du 67e Ballon d'Or France Football. Quel immense bonheur de vous retrouver ici. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here with us tonight live from Paris. Nous allons vivre une soirée exceptionnelle en compagnie des plus grands noms du football mondial. Nous sommes en direct dans 170 pays sur tous les continents. Vous êtes tous en live dans 170 pays worldwide, across all continents. Cette année, cette année, huit trophées d'exception seront remis, dont évidemment les ballons d'or pour la meilleure joueuse et le meilleur joueur du monde pour la saison 2022-2023. Et leur dîner cette saison a été exceptionnel car pour la première fois de l'histoire, deux Coupes du Monde, hommes et femmes, ont eu lieu à cette Coupe du Monde. Et avec nous, un casting de rêve ce soir, je salue en particulier la présence de M. Christo Sochkov, Ballon d'Or en 1994, M. Didier Deschamps, champion du monde en 1998 en tant que joueur et en 2018 en tant que coach, et les légendaires britanniques David Beckham, et Gary Lineker. Et il nous fait l'honneur d'être parmi nous ce soir, le numéro 1 mondial de tennis, M. Novak Djokovic. Mesdames et messieurs, je vous demande une ovation pour l'ensemble des nommés qui nous rejoignent sur cette scène. Vinicius Junior et Linda Caicedo du Real Madrid. Vinicius Junior et Linda Caicedo nominés pour Vicha Cravacelia, Napoli, Bernardo Silva, Manchester City. The Georgian Vicha Cravacelia, Manchester City in Portugal. Michele Bernardo Silva, make their way out as well. I would like, I would like, I would really would like to thank you all for being here with us tonight and thank you for being the best ambassadors of football. You are an inspiration for millions and millions of fans all around the world. Didier, en revanche, il nous manque encore deux invités de prestige, les Ballons d'Or. Regardez, ils sont en direct depuis la Tour Eiffel, ce monument mythique connu à travers le monde. Cristiano Ronaldo y avait d'ailleurs remporté son cinquième Ballon d'Or en 2017. Ils sont en train de partir et nous allons les suivre tout au long de cette cérémonie. Ils vont arriver jusqu'au Théâtre du Châtelet, ils vont traverser Paris pour vous faire visiter la ville qui accueillera les Jeux Olympiques et Paralympiques dans maintenant 270 jours exactement, Didier. Et ils seront ici dans quelques minutes, ils seront là, sur cette, sur cette scène, les ballons d'or, dans les mains de deux d'entre vous. Une belle soirée qui s'annonce, Didier. Alors présentons tout de suite les dix finalistes, off. hommes du ballon d'or 2023.
Il passe tout de suite au premier trophée de la soirée, celui qui récompense le meilleur jeune de la saison, le trophée Copa. Pour remettre ce trophée, j'ai l'honneur d'accueillir mon ancien coéquipier et ami. Il est désormais retraité à 32 ans seulement. Il a été champion de France, champion d'Angleterre, champion d'Espagne, le vainqueur de la Ligue des Champions 2022, Monsieur Eden Hazard, s'il vous plaît. Ça va être Ça va, on est là. Bonsoir Eden. Beaucoup de complicité entre vous, c'était sur un terrain de, de Chelsea. J'imagine que ça te fait très plaisir de le voir ce soir. Évidemment, tout le monde sait que Eden est, est mon chouchou. Ah, tu dis ça bon, à tout le monde. Non, qu'à toi, qu'à toi. Ah, okay, ça toi va, un peu plus qu'aux autres. <rire> Bienvenue au club des retraités, mon gars. Merci, merci. Et comment ça se passe euh, les premières semaines en tant que ancien joueur ça va, on profite de la vie, on profite des enfants, on profite de la famille. Ouais, comme quelqu'un de normal. Hein. Enfin, quelqu'un de normal, une icône belge et une icône du football mondial. Pourquoi avoir euh, pris cette retraite aussi jeune Vous n'avez que 32 ans J'ai que 32 ans, mais bon, j'ai commencé tôt. Je suis parti de la maison à 14 ans. Voilà, j'ai fait tout ce que j'avais à faire. Voilà, je pense que c'était le moment. Mon corps, le, mon corps, il suivait plus. J'ai pas mal de blessures à la fin, donc euh, c'est ce qui a fait aussi que j'ai pris cette décision. Mais voilà, content avec cette décision et de, content d'être là ce soir aussi. Merci Eden. Tu sais à quel point je suis fier de ta carrière, oui. Je la pour Eden, tu sais à quel point je suis fier de ta carrière. Je connais ton humilité. Quel regard et quel souvenir fort tu en que des bons moments, voilà, je pense que quand on regarde après, quand on finit une carrière, on, on oublie les mauvais moments parce que dans une carrière, il y a toujours des, des bons et des mauvais, mais on ne retient que les bons. Et voilà, pendant 14, 15 ans, ça a été que des bons moments. Et même, je vais, quand, au Real, ça s'est pas très, très bien passé. Euh, J'ai rencontré des gens magnifiques. Il euh, y en a qui sont dans la salle ce soir. J'ai joué avec des grands joueurs. Donc voilà, c'était un, un honneur de faire, de faire cette carrière. Merci beaucoup, Eden. Merci beaucoup d'être avec nous. It's time to reveal who will succeed Gavi. He's among these five finalists. Hugh Bellingham, England. Eduardo Camavinga, France. Gavi, Spain. Jamal Musiala, Germany. Pedri, Spain. L'ouverture d'enveloppe. <laughs> Alors, le trophée Copa est remis à Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham, the Real Madrid and England midfielder. What a remarkable past season it was. Incredible start to life as well in Spain since his move from Borussia Dortmund. Ahead of this season, 51 matches, 15 goals and 8 assists last term for club and country. Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah, um, good evening everyone. I uh, just wanted to thank everyone who's helped me get to this point, you know, from Birmingham City to Dortmund, now Madrid with the national team and most importantly my family, my mum and dad here tonight, my brother back home and yeah, thank you for all the support, it means a lot and yeah, more to come. Congratulations, dude. I propose that we take a look at your incredible season now.
Jude, in this edit, uh, there were only footage with you playing with Dortmund, of course, because you won this trophy playing with the Borussia jersey. Uh, you're now a Real Madrid player, and what an incredible first season, well, season now. 13 goals in 13 games, and with the Classico Saturday, you scored two, wall, two goals. Sorry, What an amazing start. Yeah, it's been uh, really good. I've been really welcomed by uh, everyone at the club, my teammates, the staff, and everyone behind the scenes. So really, it's down to them. You know, I'm always confident in my ability, but they help me express it. And by the way, you chose the number five jersey for <coughs> Zinedine Zidane, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of that. There wasn't much else left, to be fair, so I had to take that. And yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but it's something that I wanted to invite onto myself, you know, and pay homage to one of my uh, footballing idols. Thank you, Jude. How does it feel winning the Copa Trophy in front of two English legends here, Gary Lineker and David Beckham, and to follow the footsteps of so many young champions? You can see them here. Yeah, it's a great list of players, and it's an honor to be in front of some of the, the best players in the world and some of the best players that have ever played the game. So, yeah, to win this trophy means a lot, but I think to me, uh, the most important thing is team trophies. and. You know, now I've got this one, it's important that I try and kick on and try and help Madrid and England win trophies for many years. Jude, for your information, Jamal Musiala finished second, the runner-up on this podium. I guess it's nice to see you both so close in this podium. Yeah, it's crazy because we were roommates uh, with England about two or three, well, maybe a bit longer years ago. And, you know, he's one of my best mates in football. So I'm really proud of him. And, you know, I always kind of keep in touch to see how he's doing and getting on. And, yeah, a great lad and a great player. Well, Jamal has a little message for you. Let's hear from him. Hi, Jude. Due to our upcoming game, I could not make it to Paris tonight, but I still wanted to send you congratulations on your achievement. Well deserved, I think. We both can remember not long ago we were roommates at England, and now you're playing for Real Madrid and I'm playing for Bayern. Crazy when you think about it. I hope to see you soon. Hope you have a fantastic evening and greetings from Munich. <laughs> I guess a lot of emotion when you see this picture. Yeah, I'm more worried about my hair, to be fair. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, great guy and like, uh, so classy of him to send a message there and wish me well. And, you know, I'm, I'm always wishing him the best as well. And he knows um, uh, how, how much I've, I love him and how much respect I've got for him. Well, we send him our hello tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Copa Trophy winner, Jude Bellingham. Let's now discover who ranked tenths, ninths, and eights for this year's Ballon d'Or title. Hâte de découvrir avec vous la suite de ce classement dans quelques minutes. Didier, regarde, les ballons d'or maintenant quittent en ce moment même. La Tour Eiffel, ce sont des images en direct. Ils embarquent actuellement sur un bateau avec la brigade fluviale de Paris. Ils sont très bien escortés. Nous remercions d'ailleurs les forces de sécurité intérieure. Sans qui cela n'aurait pas été possible. Comme pour la future cérémonie d'ouverture des Jeux Olympiques de Paris, ils vont remonter la Seine et nous faire visiter les plus beaux monuments de cette ville lumière. Didier, les Jeux Olympiques et Paralympiques, ça sera dans 270 jours exactement. Exactement, et ici même, à Paris. Oui, avec une cérémonie d'ouverture qui aura lieu le vendredi 26 juillet 2024. Allez, passons maintenant au prix Socrates, un prix qui me tient à cœur. Et pour la deuxième année consécutive, il met à l'honneur la joueuse ou le joueur qui s'investit et s'engage pour des causes importantes dans la société. C'est ce prix qui est très important. À tes yeux, Didier porte le nom de la légende brésilienne des années 80, Socrates, un immense joueur et un homme reconnu pour son engagement politique contre la dictature brésilienne et pour les plus défavorisés. Et pour remettre ce prix, accueillant le patron de l'organisation Peace and Sport, son Altesse Sérénissime, le Prince Albert II de Monaco. Prince Albert in the second Gulf Monaco will be the man to hand over the Socrates Prize, the humanitarian prize named for the Argentinian uh, Brazil midfielder. Also held a medical degree, identifies the best social initiative by Bonsoir, champions. Bonsoir. 
Nous connaissons votre amour pour le sport. J'imagine le plaisir que vous avez d'être présent parmi nous ce soir avec les meilleures joueuses et les meilleurs joueurs du monde. D'autant plus que votre équipe, la Monaco, fait un excellent début de saison, n'est-ce pas Merci beaucoup, Didier. Oui, je suis très heureux d'être ici parmi vous ce soir avec tout les toutes les championnes et tous les champions que nous avons devant nous et toutes les personnalités autour du football et autour du sport. Euh, vous savez que le sport tient une place importante en principauté. On a toujours adhéré aux valeurs du sport et euh, Monaco est une terre de sport. Mais, et, et Monaco, ça, ça se décline et ça se voit tous les jours dans, dans différents dans différentes Monaco, instances, dans différents domaines, sports, avec tout, nos, tout notre, notre effort pour le sport scolaire, notre effort pour les associations sportives et les clubs de well. Et c'est pour ça que je suis très heureux, bien sûr, que nos, nos grandes équipes professionnelles Monaco sont third, performantes. Et, uh, mais mais au-delà de, de, des résultats de, de l'AS Monaco, uh, c'est sa capacité, je, je crois aussi, à, à former les jeunes, à avoir des... Des, des jeunes joueurs qui euh, atteignent le plus haut niveau et qui euh, portent aussi des valeurs et portent aussi les valeurs qui nous, qui nous sont chères. Et, et je crois que c'est ça qui est très, très important. Merci beaucoup. Monseigneur, à vous l'honneur. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. The Socrates Award winner is Vinicius Junior. Brazilian Real Madrid attacker Vinicius Jr. succeeds Sadio Mane as the winner of the Socrates Prize. Institute Foundation is helping underprivileged Brazilian children. Its main objective is to improve the living conditions of children by proving them, providing them with educational, cultural, and sports opportunities. So thank you so much for what you do. Ah, boa noite a todos. É, vou falar em português que fica um pouco mais fácil para mim. E a verdade é que eu tô, tô muito feliz de receber esse prêmio, de poder ajudar tantas crianças no Brasil, no meu bairro, sair da, da favela e é improvável que que alguém da onde eu saí chegue aqui. E eu fico muito feliz de, de poder ajudar eles e de de estar claro com tantos jogadores aqui, tantas pessoas importantes. É um sonho muito, muito, muito especial para mim estar aqui com todos vocês. It makes me really, really proud. But I want to talk about something that makes me prouder. Is your fight against racism? You've experienced it way too many times as a player, and I would like you to use the Ballon d'Or ceremony as a platform to send a strong message to the world, please. Ah, é muito chato sempre ter que falar sobre sobre o racismo, mas eu estou preparado para 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 isso sempre poder falar quando for necessário para todos os ninhos seguirem forte, porque eu vou lutar por eles e espero que você também, todos os jogadores possam nos ajudar. Que é muito triste toda vez eu ter que vir falar sobre o racismo. Eu gosto de falar sobre o futebol. Gosto de falar sobre grandes jogadores que estão aqui e é muito triste e eu quero quero pedir a força para vocês para a gente seguir na luta e que que os, os, as crianças que vão vir possam sofrer cada vez menos. Thank you, Vinicius. You are not you are not alone in this fight. Vinicius, unfortunately, you are not alone in this fight. It's been going on for too long, way too long, and I would like to urge football authorities Spain, and governments to act. It is time for real actions to eradicate racism, not only in stadiums, like you just said, but everywhere in the world. Thank you. We are at Classico on Saturday. Après avoir évoqué Socrates, nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Trois membres de la famille du Ballon d'Or nous ont malheureusement quittés ces derniers mois. Le roi Pelé, Louis Suarez, Ballon d'Or 1960 et le Ballon d'Or 1966, Sir Bobby Charlton. Prenons quelques instants pour se remémorer leur magnifique carrière. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre hommage à d'autres légendes du football mondial. Nous allons rendre
Charlton made it 4-1. This victory didn't belong only to Manchester United supporters. This was a win for Great Britain. I can see the emotion of the Steel Leaf images. Pele was and still is the legend in Brazil and, of course, all over the world. You can see the applause. Hablar de Pele es un no para mí. Pele es un dios para para nosotros de Brasil. Y si hoy estoy aquí es gracias a él que ha puesto Brasil en un nivel diferente y para que la gente respete a todos nosotros por su legado. Thank you very much, right, thank you. Vinicius Jr., for being with us tonight and your commitment for the children. Thank you. thank you, Your Highness, also for your presence tonight. Very precious. Thank you. Désormais, nous allons continuer à remonter les classements des ballons d'or classés par les femmes. Voici les joueuses classées de la dixième à la huitième place. Let's now discover who ranked tenth, ninth, and eighth for this year's woman woman ballon d'or title. Bientôt, nous allons connaître le nom du cinquième ballon d'or de football féminin. Qui est le gagnant du ballon d'or, le women's ballon d'or de cette nuit Magnifique traversée de Paris. Didier, regarde, ils sont sur la scène à quelques pas des Champs Élysées. Les ballons d'or passent tout le point. Alexandre III. Les ballons d'or sont en train de se faire. Il n'y a plus de ballon d'or. Il n'y a plus de ballon d'or. Les invalides, où repose Napoléon au Grand Palais, se dérouleront les épreuves d'ailleurs d'escrit de Taekwondo lors des prochains Jeux Olympiques. Oui, et c'est d'ailleurs au Grand Palais. Il y a des invalides aussi. Il y a des invalides aussi. Et Luca Mouric avait remporté le ballon d'or France Football en 2018. Absolument. Didier, cette année, pour le trophée du club de la saison, ce n'est pas...
n'est pas une, mais deux récompenses qui vont être remises. L'une pour le meilleur club féminin et l'autre pour le club masculin de l'année. Et le trophée du club, club féminin de la saison est attribué à... Barcelona. And to receive this Women trophy, league. please Women's welcome prize. the FC Barcelona. Juan Laporta, Jonathan Girardes, Fridolina Rolfo, Aitana Bonmati, Salma Paraluelo, Patricia Guidaro, and, and well. Mabileon. FC Barcelona. Stage alongside our president Juan Laporta receiving the awards. Congratulations. President Laporta, what an incredible season for FC Barcelona. The eighth Liga title and the second Champions League. Your club is really on top of the world right now, right? We are more than happy. <laughs> and on nom de Football Club Barcelona, je tiens à remercier l'équipe et France Football par la distinction de meilleur club de football féminin de l'année. Nous sommes très heureux. Je, je tiens aussi à remercier like tout le monde qui, au cours de l'histoire du Football Club Barcelona, a travaillé très dur, très dur pour le devenir de le Barça féminin. To play their part Et je pense Barcelona. à tous. Je pense à tous. Et particulièrement, en ce moment-là, je pense aux joueurs, aux notre right entraîneur, now, the, the au notre directeur euh, sportif, Xavier Boudot, qui il est ici. Je pense à Xavier Puig, qui est le directeur responsable de le Barça féminin dans le comité de direction que j'ai l'honneur de présider. Euh, mes amis, c'est cette distinction, c'est à vous. Et aussi, si vous permettez, euh, Didier, guys. Et la présentadora, merci à tous les socis et socias, aficionados et aficionadas du Football Club Barcelona. Merci à tous les well. culés. Thank you very much, uh, Barça fans world over the world. Euh, Parce que vous faites costat al Barça femení. Et aquest, cette distinction, cette prémie, est pour tous vous autres. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Jonathan, as the coach of this team, you must be really proud. Three Champions League titles. During the last one, you were down two goals at half time, and yet you managed to win. How do you explain this mental strength of this team? Bueno, eh, realmente las veo entrenar eh, cada día. Con, con la intensidad que, que muestran en cada sesión de entrenamiento. Para mí es fundamental eh, el hábito que ellas eh, demuestran, como comenta el, el presi, ese trabajo duro, ese intentar superarse, mejorarse cada día para final brindarles alegría a nuestra afición, que nuestro, es uno de nuestros eh, deberes eh, cada fin de semana. Y después también por la experiencia que van adquiriendo las, las jugadoras en, en partidos importantes, no solo a nivel de club, sino también eh, con las selecciones, el, esta gestión emocional de los momentos de máxima eh, adversidad, ¿no? cuando te expulsan a una jugadora, cuando empiezas perdiendo un partido, una derrota, cómo eh, reaccionas, cómo te repones contra esto, bueno, para mí es un orgullo, es un privilegio poder, poder entrenarlas cada día. Gracias, You scored twice in this final. Yes, she scored twice in this final. You've been playing as a midfielder for FC Barcelona since 2015. 
how do you manage to be that strong as a team and what is your secret? Eh, bueno, yo creo que el equipo en los últimos años ha mejorado eh, muchas cosas, pero well, think, bueno, yo creo que destacaría years, the team's really improved. Eh, la ambición que tenemos todas, things. Eh, el querer mejorar eh, cada año y el querer superar cada year. año, que yo creo que es algo que llevamos involucradas eh, cada una de nosotras. Good, Muchas you. gracias. Thank you. Thank you all for being here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for the best women teams of the season, FC Barcelona. Didier, les deux ballons d'or continuent leur visite de Paris. Regardez ces magnifiques images en direct avec les deux plus grands musées parisiens. Le musée d'Orsay, initialement une gare qui s'est transformée en un musée d'art en 1986. Et sur l'autre rive de la Seine, le Louvre et son palais construit au XVIIIe siècle. Il abrite le plus célèbre tableau du monde, la Joconde, qui attire plus de 8 millions de visiteurs par an. Autre merveille du Louvre, évidemment, sa fameuse pyramide construite à la fin des années 80 qui sert d'entrée au musée. Oui, et si vous avez la chance de venir à Paris lors des prochains Jeux Olympiques et Paralympiques, nous vous encourageons à visiter ces deux musées qui sont du patrimoine français. On se retrouve dans quelques minutes ici en direct à Paris pour la suite de la cérémonie. Qui seront les Ballons d'Or We will be back just after a short break. Stay with us. Contrairement à Moussiala, Moussiala c'est plus décisif 16 buts, 18 passes des Donc il euh, y a un but d'écart, un but de plus pour Moussiala Mais il y a 10 passes de plus pour Moussiala Bellingham termine deuxième de Bundes Moussiala gagne la Bundes Moussiala gagne la Super Coupe d'Allemagne Bellingham fait huitième de LDC Moussiala fait quart de LDC Moussiala sort en poule de Coupe du Monde Bellingham sort en quart de Coupe du Monde Et il termine meilleur joueur de la Bundesliga donc euh, le débat était assez logique entre les deux. Le débat était assez logique. C'est vrai que Baldé aurait pu mériter aussi. Hein. Non mais les gars, Eli Wai, Eli Wai, avec tout le respect, avec tout le respect les gars, 40 matchs, 20 buts, 5 passes D. Il termine 12e de Ligue 1. Il a mis le but de l'année mais il joue pas la Coupe du Monde ni la Coupe d'Europe les gars, avec tout le respect, Eli Wai, doucement. Avec tout le respect les gars, Eli Wai, doucement les mecs. Avec tout le respect. Hein. Avec tout le respect. Eli Wai, doucement les mecs. Je sais pas Dylan, je peux rien faire. Si ça bug sur TikTok, les gars, je m'excuse, je peux rien faire. Je peux rien faire. En tout cas, merci à ceux qui like, merci à ceux qui s'abonnent sur TikTok. Mais je peux rien faire. Je peux rien faire. Who has won? Bellingham. 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 Ça bug sur TikTok, je peux rien faire, les gars. Euh, Kamavinga, quatrième. Kamavinga, quatrième. Ouais, Est-ce que c'est mérité? Franchement, je sais pas. Bon, en tout cas, les gars, le top 3. Bon, après, t'avais Pedri. T'avais Pedri aussi, les mecs. T'avais Pedri aussi avec. Euh, avec 7 buts, une passe des en 41 matchs, il remporte la Liga, la Super Coupe d'Espagne. Il fait 8 de Coupe du Monde et il sort en barrage d'Europa League. T'as le bon vieux Baldé. T'avais le bon vieux Baldé. Baldé qui met un but de cette passe des. Il remporte la Liga, la Super Coupe d'Espagne. 8 de Coupe du Monde, barrage d'Europa League. Forcément, c'est comme le bon vieux, le bon vieux Pedri. T'as Gavi qui avait mis 5 buts, 6 passes des. Il remporte la Ligue des Nations, la Liga, la Super Coupe d'Espagne. Il termine 8ème. Enfin, il fait un 8 de Coupe du Monde et barrage d'Europa League. 
Donc en soi, et il y avait aussi Xavi Simons les gars, on passe rapidement. Logiquement c'est moi qui ai Mbappé le, le live TikTok, c'est mon compte normalement. Et Xavi Simon, 55 matchs, 22 buts, 11 passes décisives. Il gagne la Coupe des Pays-Bas, la Super Coupe des Pays-Bas, il fait deuxième de redivisé. Il se qualifie en quart de finale de Coupe du Monde, il fait barrage d'Europa League et il termine deuxième meilleur buteur de l'Euré divisé. En vrai les gars, Xavi Simons fait une bête de saison. Il a fait une bête de saison Xavi Simons avec le PSV. Il a fait une vraie vraie saison les gars. Il a fait une vraie vraie saison. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase Told you how to run the race, every move was on the page But I didn't like their way, had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream, I beat my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But Success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stand strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. And time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on.
chase on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack. I'm a snide, how you fall, how you get right back up. It's how you get tough. Calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff. I'm not the one. Mess with me, come down with none. Cause I'm so done, you had your fun. And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun. Cause I got a full clip with your name on it. But I'm gonna let you slide cause you ain't worth it. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on time. Te da ganas de llorar de emociones cuando, cuando sos chico. Eh, nada, pero obviamente, sí, mis compañeros de la selección, eh, cuerpo técnico eh, de Aston Villa, la verdad, esto, esto no sería posible. Esto es un, un mimo a mi carrera. Para mí, siempre lo, lo importante es ganar en grupo y en familia. Eh, tengo dos hijos hermosos en casa, mi hermano, mi viejo. Eh, y para mí, esto es solo un mimo a mi carrera. Lo, lo mayor ya lo gané. Well, Emiliano, thank you again. We're very happy that this is a great surprise for you. He was hidden backstage, so thank you very much, Mr. Martinez. Let's take a look at your superhero season now in the big screens. Emiliano, you fulfilled a childhood dream, becoming world champion with your country, Argentina, with that incredible save in the last seconds. Let me tell you, French people, French people still think about it every day, you can see. Was that the save of your life? And do you still have it in mind every day? S'il vous plaît. Sí, viéndolo, viendo la repetición, sí, en el momento... Euh, Francia avait fait... Hecho... S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. On est là pour respecter les sportifs. Il y a un grand champion face à nous. Laissez-le s'exprimer, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Non, comme je te dis, Francia... Nous avions vu que les anteriores campeones du monde avions fait un grand gran partido jusqu'à la minute 70, 75. Euh, après, fortunatement, nous avons un penal. Euh, Kylian a fait un partidazo. Euh, la verdad, eh, levantó a Francia a los últimos 10, 15 minutos y Argentina jugó muy bien el, el, el tiempo extra y Leo pone de vuelta a Argentina adelante y eh, no empate a de vuelta a Kylian eh, y tener eso de Colombiano en el final, yo no sabía ni quién me había pateado, fue todo tan rápido que me hubiera encantado que lo termine Lautaro con el gol de cabeza al final. Emiliano, you follow in the footsteps of Thibaut Courtois. How does it feel to become a goalkeeper legend? How do you feel right now? No, yo, mirándolo a esos, a esos fenómenos en el arco, la verdad es un orgullo. Eh, mismo los chicos están acá, Ederson, Mark, son, 
son arqueros que yo admiro mucho, mismo Bono que hoy no está, eh, para mí el, el, siempre en Inglaterra dice de GK Union, eh, es muy importante, yo lo, lo sigo a todos los arqueros y, y estar acá parado hoy en día es, es un orgullo. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the 2023 Yashin Trophy winner, Mr. Emiliano Martinez. Didier, regarde, les ballons d'or sont tout proches du Théâtre du Châtelet. Ils sont taqués face à l'hôtel de ville escorté par la brigade fluviale et les forces de sécurité intérieure que l'on remercie vivement. Les ballons d'or embarquent actuellement dans la voiture H24, une voiture hydrogène développée par l'Automobile Club de l'Ouest pour participer au mythique 24 heures du monde d'ici 2026. Objectif, aucune émission de CO2, cette voiture ne rejette que de l'eau. Cette mission H24 est idéale évidemment dans la transition énergétique de notre planète. Elle est pilotée ce soir par Stéphane Riquelmi et bien escortée par les forces de police qui vont désormais accompagner les ballons d'or jusqu'ici au théâtre du Châtelet. On va passer maintenant au trophée Gerd Müller du nom du célèbre attaquant allemand, ballon d'or en 1970. Il récompense le meilleur buteur de la saison. And to award this trophy, let's welcome the 1986 World Cup best striker who ranked second at the Ballon d'Or race that same year. He scored more than 300 goals during his career, and I want to show you guys one of my favorites. A special player, special control, chest control, back to the goal, volley. You know, there was everything in it. It could have been one of my goals, but Absolutely. actually, it's not. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Mr. Gary Lineker. Hey, Gary. Gary. Yeah, I know. I know that you know song. Yeah? For those, for those who don't know the song, It is the opening song from his legend, legendary show, Match of the Day, in England, and I hope you like the music. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Gary, you've had an amazing career as a player, but you are also very successful as a TV presenter for 24 years now. Please tell us what's your take on football's evolution throughout the years. Uh, first thing, Didier, is I'm worried about my job, because you do this very well. <laughs> you should have. You should <laughs> do this very well. Do you think he could host his own show one day? <laughs> He's excellent. No. Um, well, football's evolved a lot. Um, I, I personally think the sport has got better and better. Um, the, the, the competition now is incredible. There's so many wonderful players in the world. Um, we've seen many of them here this evening. Um, they're a credit to the sport, a credit to the game. and. I'm proud of many of the young footballers now speaking up about important issues as well, which is um, very important. So I think the, the game on the field is in good shape. Gary, you comment to football matches, football players. I would like you to uh, comment on Didier hosting a show. He's been doing this for four years now. What do you think of him? I, 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 I think he's doing, <laughs> doing very well indeed. It's not as easy as um, he makes it look. <laughs> and um, I know he's, um, he's in good hands with you. You're helping Aww. him a lot. But um, no, I've worked with Didier many times on, um, with the BBC um, during World Cups. And um, he's, he's just a top guy. And he was a great footballer as well, of course. Absolutely. Thank you, yeah. Thank you Gary. Regardless, Didier, there is one thing that Gary has done that you haven't done yet is to host a show wearing your underpants. <laughs> Gary, come on. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Well, hey, that, you, you, how, how old were you? How, you? how old were you there? How, I, I was, that was 2016, seven years ago. You know, so I was 55. Um, Gary, when I grow up, I want to look like yeah. you. I need to explain because that looks weird unless somebody knows. <laughs> Please uh, explain. <laughs> um, that was because my team, Leicester City, um, I did a tweet, um, I think it was November of the season. Leicester yes. were going very well. Um, I said that if Leicester win the league, um, I would do the first show of the next season in just... Um, just my <laughs> underwear um, but I knew at that point that there was zero chance that Leicester would win the league um, but I was wrong and I was glad I was wrong because it was a beautiful moment so careful on the bet you do huh? Ooh, la, la. You do, be careful <laughs> Gary let's take a look now at the top five for this year's Gerd Müller trophy ranked fifth place with 36 goals Robert Lewandowski number four with 38 goals Lionel Messi ranked third with 40 goals Harry Kane And number two with 54 goals, Kylian Mbappé. 
Gary, you may tell us the name of the best striker of 2022-2023, please. I will. I will open the envelope, but I don't, I don't think I need to. <laughs> <laughs> the Gerd Muller Trophy winner is the brilliant Erling Haaland. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Manchester City, the, I think the whole club, for making me being myself every single day, you know, from the players to the staff to, to Pep and, uh, and yeah, to, to everyone. So uh, I want to say a big thanks to them. And then I also want to thank my family and all the, the people around me for making me who I am today. And, uh, and yeah, thanking everyone close to me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations, Erling. Stay with us. You scored 56 goals. We could have chosen a few of them, but we actually wanted to enjoy them all. Let's watch them. He's in again, scores again. Foden back in. Harlan is there. Harlan has it. Erling Harlan. Patrick. Cello. De Bruyne trying to add to his great effort off the other side of the bar and he's 2-0 Darbo Silva with the head of Haaland and then the Kanji and Haaland again he's gone a long way somehow the goalkeeper saved he's got five Haaland again well, Haaland gets his chance and gets his goal Phil Foden. Oh, and Holland is there! Inevitably! Holland! That is a stunning finish from Erling Holland. Carlos fallen over. Holland's in scores. Well, here's 
Brazil Kaga doing again. Holland! Oh, what Harvard scores! Back for Erdegaard. Erdegaard through for Holland again! Again from Erling Holland! Erling! Amazing goals. Thank you. Amazing goals. And I've noticed something about you that all strikers should learn. is the fact that you are always in movement in the box, which helps you be at the right time, at the right place. And you're always on your toes, you know, ready to anticipate. What other tips can you give to future strikers? Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's my job, so, so that's, what I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm here now, because that's what I'm good at. Uh, but if I'm going to give one advice, I think it is to stay hungry. I think, uh, especially as a striker, you know, to always be ready and try to be in the moment, to uh, to to stay sharp and to stay to stay hungry, to yeah, want to want to score, want to have this feeling, as I I had quite a few times last season. It, it's an amazing feeling, and that's also why I want to do it more. You know, easy as that. So to chase this feeling, yeah. Yeah. Erling, uh, were you expecting to be as strong for your first season at Man City? Is it the Guardiola effect? I think uh, a mix between amazing teammates, uh, an amazing club, you know, uh, from the physios to the leaders to uh, yeah, the coaches. So I think it's a good mix between a lot of things. Uh, but of course, look at the, the passes I get from uh, some of them sitting here tonight and uh, and uh, some of them not, uh, but uh, you know I think it's a mix between a lot of things, uh, and I'm there to to try to to help the team, uh, and uh, yeah, it was a was a fantastic season. And it works very well. Gary Erling scored two goals last night. That was in the match during uh, sorry for Manchester City uh, facing uh, Manchester United. What do you think of him? When you opened the envelope, you said the greatest. I mean, well, tell us. He knows how to find space in the penalty area. And um, a lot of those goals you'll see, you see they're very close range. Um, but not everyone can do that. Very few players understand that. And he's, his movement is, is, is so good that it's his anticipation. See, goal scoring is like mathematics. It's a formula. It's not instinct. It's about making runs constantly into a space where you think you might score a goal if the ball goes there. Mm -hmm. um, most players wait to see where the ball's going to go, and then it's too late. But he does that, and he anticipates on the space, and he does it all the time. And it's the law of probability that means that eventually he'll get a great chance to score a goal, and he does it better than anyone in the game at the moment. And that makes 56 of them. <laughs> yeah, it's a big Amazing. Number. So guys, let's talk about your goal celebrations. When I used to score, you know, I used to go like this. You, Gary, we've seen it, it's like that. Erling, yours is more like, uh, you know, like this. Zen attitude, right? So for your next goal, I challenge you. You have to choose between a DJ Drogba celebration and a Gary Lineker celebration, if you accept the challenge, of course. We will see you in the next goal. <laughs> <laughs> in between both celebrations? You don't want to choose in between both? I mean, I celebrate in the moment, so uh, I will think of both of you when I, when I score my next goal, and then uh, I will decide. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so we Let's can't see. wait for the next one. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being with us. Please, the 2023 Gert Müller Trophy winner, Erli Galan. Thank you. C'est le grand moment. Les ballons d'or sont à quelques mètres du Châtelet. Ils sont devant l'hôtel de ville de Paris. Vous apercevez les anneaux olympiques à 270 jours du début des Jeux olympiques et paralympiques ici à Paris. Ça va être absolument grandiose. La voiture H24 s'approche tout doucement du tapis rouge. Merci encore pour l'escorte de police. Les ballons d'or vont arriver sur cette scène dans quelques minutes, quelques secondes. Encore un peu de patience. Mais avant ça, Didier, c'est l'heure de vous révéler le club masculin de la saison. It's time to celebrate the men's club of the season. An award for the club with the most Ballon d'Or nominees. And the winner is... Manchester City emerge.
coach as UEFA Champions League winners 2023. Today was our year. Manchester City, the kings of English football. Please welcome on stage Mr. Ferran Soriano, Mr. Chiki Begaristan, Ederson, Ruben Diaz, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Erning Alon, and Julian Alvarez. Please. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming in such numbers. Thank you. Manchester City, the club of the season for the second time in a row. So, who do I give it to? Chippy. Good. You want it? And please, go to the door. Mr. Soriano, I you have a question for you. Again. Yeah, please. As the CEO of the club, back to back trophy, congratulations. This really must make you proud. Thank you so much. We are, we are actually, we are very proud. Everybody at Manchester City, the ownership, the chairman, the board, and everybody of us that work in Manchester City, we're very proud. We, we enjoyed a very good season. But you all know, we all know that this is not the product of one season. It's the product of a lot of hard work. Obviously, we are here because of these extraordinary players and others, our coaches, our football director, but behind, there is a lot of people working in the club for a long time. It's more than a decade of hard work. And we also know that the many excellent football clubs and some of my colleagues, our colleagues here, we're all very good. We work very hard. So it's an honor to have it, to receive it the second year in a row. It's an honor, and we love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rodri. Why is he? Can you go to the desk, please? You, you finally did it. The Champions League is yours. And on top of that, you scored in the final. You must be really happy, no? Yeah, it was unbelievable uh, emotion and sensation. Uh, I think all of us, it became true. One of our dreams to achieve the, the Champions League, as Ferran says, a lot of years of, of hard working and not achieving it. But we were the last years there fighting for it. Um, and finally we did it. I uh, just want to uh, say a massive thank you for, for the club, for my teammates who have hard work all of these years to achieve it. And yeah, finally it was, it was my goal, but it was the effort of, of all of us. So yeah, uh, a dream come true. Thank you. Bernardo, I have a question for you if you want to go to the mic. Um, your club has five players in the top 10 Ballon d'Or this year. Congratulations. Is that proof that hard work pays? Well, definitely, yes. Thank you so much. Um, not just the, the five players on, on the top ten, but so many nominees. has been great and uh, also extra motivation to keep going and to push ourselves every day to, to be better and to, to try it again. Thank you, Bernardo. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. thank you, guys. And once again, congratulations to the team and thank you for bringing your squad here in Paris. Thank you. Dans un instant, le nom du cinquième ballon d'or France Football féminin, mais avant cela, la suite du classement de la septième est la cinquième place.
Dans quelques minutes, nous découvrons qui est la cinquième ballon d'or de l'histoire. Mais avant cela, nous avons une surprise pour vous. Il a 23 ans. Avec un milliard d'écoutes, son tube est parmi les plus grands succès de cette dernière année. C'est un immense fan de football et notamment de Manchester United. Nobody's perfect. Il nous fait l'honneur de se produire ici, devant vous, au Théâtre du Châtelet. Ladies Rema. and gentlemen, please welcome Rema and his amazing song, Calm Down. Baby, calm down, calm down. Yo, this your body puts in my heart for lockdown, for lockdown, oh lockdown. Oh, yeah, girl, you sweet like Fanta, Fanta. If I tell you, say I love you, you know, they from me, young girl. Oh, yeah, no, tell me, no, 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 oh, 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 From Nigeria, Musician Africa Rema. to the world. Rema, thank you so much. Performing his hit single, thank you. Thank you. thank you so much. Dans un instant, le nom du 67e Ballon d'Or France Football, mais avant cela, la suite know, du classement de la 7e à la 5e. The 67th Ballon d'Or. We'll look at those who finish between 5th and 7th.
Il ne sent plus que le temps pour remporter le ballon d'or France Football 2023. Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappé et Lionel Messi. Encore un tout petit peu de patience, messieurs. Didier, ils sont là, ils sont arrivés, ils ont traversé Paris dans des mâles faites sur mesure et à la main. Les ballons d'or sont avec nous sur scène. La récompense individuelle la plus prisée, la plus mythique du football mondial. Leur fabrication dure six mois pour plus de 100 heures de travail d'orfèvre. Ils pèsent 15 kilos chacun. C'est l'objet de toutes les convoitises depuis 1956 pour tous les footballeurs et depuis 2018 pour les meilleurs joueurs. Mesdames et messieurs, les ballons d'or. Let's start right away with the 2023 women's ballon d'or. It's now time to discover who will be crowned this year. And to hand over this prize, we have a special guest. Please welcome a tennis legend. The actual world number one with 24 Grand Slam titles, an absolute record. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Novak Djokovic. A round of applause for the tennis superstar. The greatest of all time. Djoko. Djokovic. My friend. How are you? I'm fine, and you? It's nice to see you here, surrounded with the best players in the world. Can you tell us what kind of football fan are you and uh, which team do you prefer? Well, good evening, everyone. It's a huge honor to be here. Of course, uh, I want to thank Ballon d'Or and France Football for inviting me uh, to be present here. It's a great privilege, obviously, uh, surrounded with the best players in the world and uh, the greatest sport in the world, you know, the sport that uh, I grew up with, you know, obviously playing. Um, every single day. My father was a professional football player, so I did play it a little bit, and I think I was around nine or ten years old, and I was deciding whether I'm going to play football or tennis, so I chose tennis. Uh, I don't know if it was a good choice. I think it was. <laughs> Not, but, bad. Uh, <laughs> Not bad. Not <laughs> bad. But, um, of course, I still, I still follow um, avidly football, and I'm a great, great fan. What's your favorite team, then? Well, I, I come from Serbia, Belgrade, so Red Star Belgrade, number one team, uh, no doubt. We won well, Champions League or Champions Cup, as, we're called, uh, it, as it was called back then in 91. Um, and uh, AC Milan, those are the two teams that, uh, <laughs> that are in my heart. <laughs> is, there, is there a player in particular that you like to watch? I mean, right now? Uh, all of them. <laughs> I mean, all, all of them, honestly. Uh, I, I don't want to you know, be rude to players that I don't mention, so I will not mention names, but, uh, you know, I, I'm obviously inspired by, um, by what they're doing on the field and also off the field. And as uh, gentleman, Mr. Gary Lineker, was mentioning, you know, speaking about important issues um, socially and, and globally, which is something that is, you know, I think important for all of us athletes that, you know, we, we try to be brave and courageous in those moments and use the platform. Uh, we are very blessed to have the incredible platform, especially football uh, around the world, and, and a lot of people are listening to you, so it's, it's great, it's amazing that they're using their platform. Novak, as you know, the Olympics, the next Olympics will happen here in Paris, in Roland Garros for the tennis, where you won three, uh, three times, also last year. Is winning an Olympic gold medal kind of like your main goal in your career? Kind of like <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a probably one big title that I haven't won in my career, and uh, I've been trying, you know, it comes every four years, um, so I've got to be really well prepared. You know, it's going to be played at, uh, on clay courts in Roland Garros, uh, a site and a court and a stadium that I am very familiar with. Uh, I'll have some great, great opponents, of course, and it will not be easy, but, you know, representing the country uh, in Olympic Games is uh, probably the greatest honor. Um, you know, at least for me, uh, and it's, it's the oldest sporting event, of course. I had that privilege to, to wear a Serbian flag on the opening ceremony in 2008, so it's amazing just to be surrounded with the best athletes in the world, uh, in the village, and watching them perform from up close is, uh, is, is, is truly an honor, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, we will follow, of course, the Olympics and tennis very closely. Thank you very much, Novak. Thank you. It's now time to discover who are the four finalists of the Women's Ballon d'Or.
It is time to reveal who is the 2023 Women's Ballon d'Or, elected amongst 50 football journalists around the world. Novak, please. That's never eagerly awaited moment has arrived. Let's find out who is the winner of this year's Women's Ballon d'Or. Women's Ballon d'Or 2023 goes to Aitana Bonmati. <laughs> Tana Bonmati, with Barcelona and Spain still. He's voted best player at the World Cup as Spain went on to lift the trophy, beating England 1-0 in the final. Also lit up the Champions League as well. As Barcelona won it for the second time in three years. We're giving you... Aysana, we're going to give you the Ballon d'Or, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, the women's ballon d'or this year. Spanish League title to boot as well for Antonio Bonatti, the 25-year-old. Come with me, with the ballon d'or, come. It's your moment, you have to enjoy, you know, come. She succeeds. Come no, go on, it's yours. And Hatchwitz, Alexia Pateas, won the award the past two years. Among the nominees this time around, after a a serious knee injury caused her to miss a much more but last season, Pateas. She'll be delighted to see Bon Matty, one of her World Cup winning teammates, win the prize. Bonsoir. Estoy muy orgullosa de recibir el Ballon d'Or. I'm very proud to receive noche. this Ballon d'Or tonight. Ha sido un año it's excepcional a nivel deportivo. Y aunque se trata de un premio individual, el fútbol es un deporte colectivo. Así que me and gustaría extender prize, el premio a todas mis compañeras, el sport, staff, team sports. trabajadores de, so del like Barça de Selección, porque está claro this prize que todos los equipos conseguidos este staff, año, yo no estaría hoy aquí. Me agradaría continuar para ver well. a los tres clubes donde he jugado. Estaré arriba, them, club de fútbol Cube, Cubellas, muchas gracias. Y sobre todo had, al Barça, al have, meu club. Encapsulado por la hoy presente aquí, presidente, el Fútbol Club Barcelona, Joan Laporta. Gracias por apostar para nosotros cuando ninguno creía. Para donarme la oportunidad so de ser futbolista profesional. ¿Qué me habría dicho cuando era una nena que acabaría jugando en un Camp Nou ple? Somos un club Rafael Mundial. Gracias, familia. Amigos. Aquí te trabajo. Y a todas las personas que me han acompañado y que me han ayudado a nuestra familia. Pero sobre todo gracias a mis padres. Rosa y Vicent, Everyone avui presentes aquí también. Nosotros voy a invitar para cambiar la norma de los cumplidos a España y voy a conseguir. Vicent. Yo por tu aquí esta lluita y resiliencia a la SANG y eso es gracias a vosotros. Finally, congratulations to all the nominees. All of them are great and inspiring footballers. As role model, we have a responsibility on and off the pitch. We should be more than athletes. Keep leading by example and keep fighting together for a better, peaceful, and equal world. Merci. Very well said. Yeah, Aitana Bonmati. Congratulations, Aitana, and thank you for these strong words. Thank you. Let's take a moment and watch how this little girl from outside Barcelona in San Pere de Ribes became the best player in the world. <laughs> Ok. Aquesta és la casa on va viure l'Aitana fins fa tres anys. Sents una mica de nostàlgia. Del 0 als 5 anys no tenia cap atracció cap al futbol. No és un cas de futbolista prematura, sinó al contrari. Va començar a jugar al pati de l'escola. Nens que jugaven al pati de l'escola formaven part de l'equip del Ribes. És l'equip del poble. Aquí tenemos un mural que se hizo cuando Aitana ganó la Champions con el Barça. Este es el mensaje que Aitana dedicó al pueblo de, de Rivas. Está en catalán y significa de vuestra querida Aitana para la gente de Rivas. Al final, con que la Aitana, con digo ella, es muy de pobre. Este es el campo en el cual ella debutó de pequeñita, donde jugaba, que antes era de tierra.
pone su nombre de campo municipal Aitana Bombatico, ¿sabes? Hace ya años, pero yo creo que era la única chica del club. Claro, ella tuvo que, que luchar más. Ella ho diu molt, que és molt competitiva. Això sí que no ha sortit de casa, perquè nosaltres som anticompetitius en general. Cuando ella acabó su etapa de infantil, que ya no podía jugar con chicos, el Barça tiene scoutings, la vieron. Va a tener la sorte que va a conocer la gran época del Barça, del gran Barça de Xavi, Iniesta, Guardiola, Puyol. Veían que el partido de fútbol también andaba interiorizando una manera de jugar, una manera de fe, etc. etc. La mejor jugadora de fútbol. Ella no ha a perder mai la, aquesta arrela amb el poble. És Aitana. O sea, para nosotros és la Aitana del pueblo de toda la vida. Bueno, ara, ara estem caminant, estem anant cap a, cap a la penya barcelonista de Ribes, que porta el nom de l'Aitana, el nom d'Aitana Bonmatí. És un orgull per tota la gent de Ribes, doncs això, doncs que... Doncs que aquesta penya porti el nom de la, de la millor jugadora del món, bàsicament. La gent del poble, els teus amics, la teva família, estem super orgullosos de tu. Jo sempre he confiat molt en tu, des que eres super petita i sempre ho seguiré fent. No m'has esperat mai eh, enviar-te aquest missatge des d'aquí. Estic super orgullosa de tot el que has aconseguit. Només et demanaria que això no t'ho no, 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 no vili, és a dir, no deixis de ser com ets, que continues jugant a futbol gaudint -ne perquè eh, l'important és això, eh, jugar gaudint, eh? si és, sense gaudir no té gaire sentit. Aitana, we see that you are a normal person, very discreet. Tonight you're standing in front of millions of people as a world champion, now as a Ballon d'Or, you become an icon, a legend, How do you feel right now? <laughs> Bien, no sé si se, me, si se me ha notado mucho, pero estoy un poco nerviosa. Llevo sin dormir unos cuantos días. Uh, a estar aquí uh, en la mayor gala de, del fútbol mundial es un sueño para mí. Y, y bien, aunque soy una persona discreta, uh, a, like como digo, a estar aquí es único. Y, y para valorarlo mucho, tengo la suerte de poder jugar en un gran club como es el Fútbol Club Barcelona, en, really en la selección también, donde like en Barcelona. ambos lados tengo a las mejores jugadoras al lado que me hacen mejor cada día, y ya no solo las really mejores jugadoras, sino también a los mejores staff. ¿no? Aquí está nuestro entrenador Jonathan. Well uh, bien, en el, el club llevamos uh, tres años llegando a la final de la Champions seguidos, eso es muy complicado, y eso dice mucho de la mentalidad que tenemos. ¿no? Eh, bien, eh, confío en que, en que esta mentalidad va a seguir muchos años más y vamos a lograr muchos más títulos. So let's hope there's much more to come in the years to come, more Ballon titles as well. Ballon d'Or goes to Barcelona again. Last year, Alex Apoteas uh, was standing here in, in your place. Does that mean that Spain is on top of the world right now? Bien, um, España tiene un talento único. Uh, Spain has really unique talent. Es cierto que en los últimos años eh, hemos destacado más a nivel de clubes, como en el Barça sobre todo, y este año con la selección. En eh, dice mucho de que eh, llevemos tres años eh, con el Balón de Oro en casa, ¿no? Uh, al final uh, somos um, un país uh, que vive el fútbol eh, muchísimo y que trabaja cada día para... Trabajamos cada día para ser las mejores. Aitana, Pep Guardiola dice que tú eres la versión femenina de Andrés Iniesta. ¿Qué piensas de eso? No tengo palabras. words. <laughs> Siempre digo que es, eh, me siento muy orgullosa de haber nacido el mismo día que, que Pep Guardiola, el 18 de enero. Eh, es un ídolo para mí. Yo no lo vi jugar, pero sí que pude... Eh, vivir la época tan gloriosa que nos dio en el Barça con, con Xavi, con Iniesta, con Busquets, if, you know, con Messi. Like kind of eh, esos años fueron de los años más felices Xavi, de mi vida Barca, y que una persona something. como Guardiola te elogie y encima te compare con Iniesta, que es eh, 
mi jugador favorito juntamente con Xavi Hernández, Messi y compañía. Uh, favorite player of all time Unico. alongside Xavi Hernandez. So, Aitana, let's now surprise. take a look at the year's podium. You precede the Australian player Sam Kerr and your teammate and compatriot Salma Paraluelo. Congratulations. Please, yes. a standing Merci. ovation for Aitana Bonmati, Ballon d'Or France Football 2023. Congratulations, Aitana. Thank you again and thank you very much, Novak. Congratulations, Aitana Bonmati. Only four contenders remain. The suspense is insurmountable. Who will be the winner? 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 Who will be the Created a legacy off of me just being honest And the fake ones hate but it's on to no avail They wanna see me lose but you know I never fail
happen. A boy, Christmas brought so much joy. Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter. I couldn't sleep late at night, looking for Santa with lights. Those are the memories I still remember. Then I became a man, lost sight of who I am. But right in front of Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah i move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by uh. i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say
game for my country here, and I also played my last game in football here, so uh, it's a very special place for me. David, Sir Bobby Charlton passed away a few days ago. I know how important he was to you and how affected you are. Please, can you tell us who was Sir Bobby Charlton to you? You know, I, I probably don't have to tell this room uh, how special Sir Bobby was uh, to the world of football. Um, you know, he was respected on the field for what he did, for what he went through, for what he won. Um, but he was even more respected off the field for what he stood for um, and, re and uh, the respect that he had, not just in Manchester, not just in England, but around the world, uh, was truly incredible. He's going to be solely missed. Um, when we look up into the stands, we used to always see Sir Bobby sat there cheering us on. Um, so he's going to be missed on that side. On a personal side, Sir Bobby started everything for me. Uh, it's where it all began. I went to Sir Bobby's soccer school when I was 10 years old. I won it when I was 11 years old. And if it wasn't for Sir Bobby um, turning around to Manchester United and saying that you should watch this young man, I probably would never have played for Manchester United. So I owe him everything. Uh, he was my dad's hero. It's one of the reasons why my middle name is Robert after <laughs> Sir Bobby. Um, so he's very special in our household, um, he's very special around the world uh, and we'll miss him dearly. We send our love and thoughts to, um, to Lady Norma, um, to his daughters and to his grandchildren and he will be missed um, greatly by, by the footballing world. Absolutely, thank you David. Oh, some of that touching the tribute paid to Bobby Charlton by uh, David yeah. Beckham. Sir Bobby Charlton won the Ballon d'Or in 1966. There's always been a special link between England and the Ballon d'Or. Maybe as a reminder, the first Ballon d'Or in 1956 was Stanley Matthews. What does this Ballon d'Or represent for you? I mean, you only have to ask, you know, the players that are sat here today and the players that have received the award and been nominated over the years, how special this evening is. You know, as, as, uh, as players, we always want to win trophies for our team that's the most important thing um, but to be nominated and recognized as individuals um, it's a very special thing and uh, every player will tell you that here tonight um, there's many players around the world that give everything for this game um, like many of the guys that have said up here many of the people that have stood here and said how important this game is and how important this platform is um, and we need to continue to do that. This is an important platform for everybody uh, and we can, we can change many things around the world. Um, and that's what we want and that's what we want to continue to do. So tonight, you know, this is a, a very special evening. Um, and like I said, you know, I was very privileged to even be mentioned um, of, uh, on one of these evenings many years ago. And I'm very privi privileged to be here again tonight. And it's an honor for us to have you. Thank you very much. So now, let's discover the four finalists of this year's edition. Who will succeed? Karim Benzema? And for the record, the Ballon d'Or is elected by worldwide vote. These 100 journalists from the top 100 FIFA countries have ranked their five best players. In the end, the player with the most points wins the Ballon d'Or. David, my friend, you may tell us who is the 2023 Ballon d'Or. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for, who's going to be the winner? The 2023 Ballon d'Or France football footballer is Lionel Messi. For the eighth time in his career, extending that record even further, the Argentine superstar Lionel Messi. Wasn't nominated last year for the first time since 2005, but he's back on the top spot of the podium 12 months later. 
after inspiring Argentina to their third World Cup in Qatar at the end of last year. And a glorious chapter in the career and one of the game's finest footballers. All those in attendance rise to applaud Lionel Messi. Moment to save as well for his wife and his three children. Bueno. Buenas noches, muchas gracias. Good evening, everyone. Bueno, antes que nada quiero quiero agradecer a toda la gente que que votó, que me hizo el el ganador de este de este premio. Obviamente compartir con con mi compañero de selección. To share this with my national. Una vez más, este premio viene de la mano de the teammates. De lo conseguido con la selección argentina. Hoy estamos acá. What we were able to achieve with the representation of the national team. De todo con con Lautaro, con Juli, con él. Y, Otaro, y yo Julian creo que well. esto es un, un regalo para, para todo el grupo, todo el cuerpo técnico y para toda la gente de Argentina the, después the de, group, the de, staff, de lo que involved. conseguimos. Quiero, obviamente no me quiero olvidar de, de Haaland, de Kilian, eh, que tuvieron un, gran, un año so eh, increíble, tanto eh, a nivel individual Kevin, como Erling. a nivel colectivo. And Haaland Kevin. habiendo tenido un año eh, espectacular, haber conseguido todo. No tengo duda que en los próximos años eh, se van a hacer con, con este premio. Veo, veo muchos jóvenes acá. Yo hoy me toca estar de, desde otro lado you y no tengo duda de que young, so voy a disfrutar already, so de, de buen fútbol durante, durante muchísimo tiempo por, por la clase de jugadores que veo eh, en, esta, en esta noche. Eh, tengo la suerte de, de haber estado muchos años en esta gala y, y lo, los jugadores se van se van renovando, pero pero el nivel no baja nunca, así que que vamos a seguir disfrutando muchos años más. Quiero hacer una mención especial a, a si bien siempre lo hice toda la gente que me siguió durante toda mi carrera por cómo lo vivió este mundial, el deseo que tenía de que yo sea campeón del mundo, de que pueda conseguir mi sueño, el único que Recibí muchísimo cariño y fue muy especial que mucha gente de, de diferentes nacionalidades quieran que, que Argentina sea campeón del mundo. Quiero compartir y agradecer obviamente a mi, a mi familia, la que está en Argentina, en Miami, y por supuesto mi mujer y mis hijos que una vez más me, me acompañan. Agradecerle por, por haberme acompañado durante toda, toda mi carrera, por haber estado en en los peores momentos que, que lo he tenido I'd también like y sobre todo de haberme ayudado a cumplir, a cumplir todos mis, mis objetivos en el fútbol, mis sueños y, well y nada, sin ustedes no, no hubiese podido ser posible todo este recorrido durante, durante muchísimos años. Por último, para terminar, eh, quiero finish. hacer la última mención a, a Diego, hoy es el cumpleaños de él, así que que creo que no hay mejor lugar para, para desearle un feliz cumpleaños rodeado de, de, de jugadores, de jugadores, de técnicos, de gente que le gusta el fútbol como, como le gustaba a él, así que donde quiera que esté, feliz cumpleaños Diego, esto también es, eh, es para vos, lo comparto con vos y con, con toda Argentina. Buenas noches, muchas gracias. Okay. 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 this Ballon d'Or was the World Cup title with Argentina. Your holy grail, the last major achievement of your huge career. Is this Ballon d'Or a special one? Bueno, todos son especiales, ¿no? Si bien digo well, que, all que awards. o siempre dije que los premios, los premios importantes eran los premios colectivos y que de la mano vienen los premios los individuales. Los premios, Hoy acabamos muchos prizes. jugadores de, de, del City, el cual tuvieron eh, un grandísimo año, el que consiguieron todo, el que son el mejor equipo del mundo de hoy por hoy. Y, y sí, es especial tener estos esto reconocimientos, pero obviamente siempre son no, secundarios, lo importante son los, los colectivos siempre.
Yunel, you started your story 19 years ago. Today, you're still dominating world football, and during your fabulous career, you've created a unique love story with the Ballon d'Or. In this moment, parece que el tiempo vuela y cada vez pasa todo muy rápido. Oh, brilliant skill from Lionel Messi. Surging forward with real menace here. Brilliant from Messi. Oh, what a goal that is! Rune, tiene la cobertura defensiva, busca el envío. Oh, Messi! Pero un gol femenino. Lo más a nivel individual poder poder conseguir eso. Messi! Oh, brilliant! Lionel Messi. Quiero compartirlo con con todos mis seres queridos que son los que los que siempre me apoyaron y están al lado mío. This man is just unstoppable. Messi. Oh, Messi! Enseguida me empezaban a preguntar cuándo era la fecha de mi retirada. Fourteen years after winning the prize for the first time, Matt Messi back up on stage <laughs> to with his eighth Ballon d'Or. Lionel, eight Ballon d'Or, eight like infinity. Do you realize that you're making history, and do you really realize what you've accomplished? Bueno, como, como le dije muchas veces, no, nunca imaginé eh, haber tenido la carrera que, que tuve, haber, conseguido, haber tenido la suerte, gracias a Dios, de haber conseguido eh, todos mis objetivos, de haber conseguido todo en el fútbol, que, que es muy difícil eso. Tuve la suerte de, como hablaba antes, de estar en el mejor equipo del mundo, el mejor club, eh, el mejor equipo de la historia, y eso es que todo sea más fácil, que gane muchos títulos, que gane muchos premios individuales. Makes it a lot easier to, to win so many titles, to win these individual muchas prizes. Muchas duras, sobre todo con la selección argentina, donde he pasado mucho malo momento, donde no se me no se me daba. Y lo repito una vez más, y todo nunca bajé los brazos y siempre seguí peleando por por mi deseo de conseguir la Copa América, conseguir el mundial, que era to lo que me faltaba. 
and then to get the World Cup after all those difficult moments in the national team. Lionel, this is the first time you win a Ballon d'Or and you don't have a game in the next week. How are you going to celebrate this one? <laughs> You're on holiday. <laughs> what are you going to do? Tell us. Bueno, hablaba antes con con compañeros que de eso, ¿no? De de lo difícil que iba a ser este tiempo sin sin jugar. Nunca tuve tanto tiempo de vacaciones. Quizá el momento más más difícil después de 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 haberme ido de Europa, de haber elegido el el Inter Miami, que que estoy muy muy feliz, contento de la decisión que que tuve y ahora están acá presentes. Ahora aprovecho para para hacerles todo este tiempo que que hemos vivido de de mi llegada, igual que el David, el cual estoy conociendo y es una grandísima persona. Y bueno, disfrutarlo de de otro momento, aprovechar el momento con con mi familia, disfrutar más tiempo en Argentina, que es lo que deseaba siempre y y nunca podía porque teníamos partido. En pocos días, así que disfrutar un poco de todo eso. Ahora. <laughs> en effet, c'est, c'est ça la MLS. Hein. Tu es en vacances, les autres continuent à jouer. David, we all know there's no place like Miami for a good party. So, do you have something in mind for Lionel? I, I have know. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you know it's such a special moment for us uh, as owners, myself and Jorge Mas, um, to be here tonight to celebrate, you know, uh, the accomplishments of of Leo. Uh, it's very special and to say he's a Miami player uh, and, he, and he, he is in our city, uh, that's a special thing. So, uh, you know, like Leo's just said, he will celebrate it with his, his teammates that he achieved so much with last, uh, last year, uh, with his family, with his amazing wife and his children and his family back in Argentina. Um, he will celebrate it in his way and we will do the best to celebrate it in the, in the Miami way, so uh, <laughs> it, I'm sure we can do uh, quite a good party. Definitely. No doubt about that. <laughs> Lionel, I've handed you three Ballon d'Or now, and it's been a pleasure. Please, tell us, how do you stay so cool in front of your family and millions of people when there's so much emotions and love, actually? Well, the truth is that, as I said before, it really me surprised a lot about the topic del mundial la gana que tenía la gente de que de que yo sea campeón de, del mundo era muy muy extraño a la vez muy muy lindo eh, uh, being a world champion eh, was, ver la sensación was, was que, que generaba generaba eso y, y bueno la verdad que todavía no me acostumbro al tema este de, de la gala los premios pero bueno de a poquito creo que me fui soltando más eh, el primero fue ya en 2000 años pasó muchísimo tiempo y Y, y creo que hoy ya con el último me siento mucho más más suelto, más tranquilo y, y disfrutándolo de otra manera, no, feel, disfrutando todo de otra manera, porque so right now, eh, no sé prize. si es mucho o poco lo que me queda, pero después de haber tenido la carrera que, que tuve, lo único que me queda es seguir disfrutando, porque nunca hay que disfrutar de del fútbol porque es lo que amé de chiquito y lo que sigo amando, lo que, lo que más me gusta hacer, así que que sigue disfrutándolo de, de otro lado. Merci Léo. On vient de voir euh, tes enfants. Je les appelle à, à te rejoindre, pour faire monter tes enfants avec toi pour célébrer ce huitième Ballon d'Or. Ils sont les bienvenus, toute la famille. Chiro, Matteo, Thiago, please. Merci. Three children to come up on stage to join them. Thiago, Matteo, and Cyril. Please come.